What's up YouTube? Jeff your style OG. And on today's video, we're going to discuss the 20 skills every man should develop by age 30. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern, discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Larry Middlebrooks, salute. Now, as you make your way through life, hopefully you're evolving, growing, and learning, and picking up more and more skills. Now, we all learn and develop skills at a different pace, but there are certain skills I believe every guy should master, at least most of them, by the age of 30. And that's what we're going to talk about on today's video. On today's video, I've got 20 skills that if you develop and master them by the age of 30, you'll be a very well-rounded guy. One of those skills is not wasting time. Let's hop right into this video about the 20 skills you should master by age 30. Seeing as though this is a style channel, the first skill is a style skill. Every guy should know how to tie a tie. Now, although a lot of people are dressing more casual nowadays, there are gonna be many times you're gonna have to throw on a tie a job interview, a wedding, and in a lot of office environments, you still have to dress business casual. And a mature man should be rocking a suit from time to time. Therefore, you're gonna need to know how to tie a tie. Now, there's tons of knots you can learn, but two of them will get you through almost any situation. Learn how to tie a four in hand knot and a half Windsor. Next up is a skill every guy has to know. And I hope you know it before age 30, but if you don't know it by now, get to learning. Every guy should know how to change a flat tire. There's gonna come a point in everybody's life they're gonna be on the side of the road because of a flat tire. You wanna be able to change one. You don't wanna be stranded waiting for somebody else to change that flat. You definitely don't wanna to have to walk down the side of the road because you don't know how to fix it yourself. Changing a flat tire is not that complicated, but it's a simple skill I found some guys just don't know. If you're one of those guys, change that. Learn how to change a flat tire. Now, one of, if not the foundational pieces in a stylish guy's wardrobe is high quality dress shoes. And the best way to put your best foot forward with these nice shoes, you need to learn how to shine them. I don't care how nice your shoes are, if they don't have a nice shine and they're dusty, they just don't look good. I highly recommend you learn how to shine your shoes. What I like to do is shine mine every three or four wears. This will help you get the most out of your shoe help them last longer, and not to mention, people are gonna notice your shoes. It helps to have a nice shine. This is an age-old skill that every stylish guy should have. Please learn how to shine your shoes. Now, next up is a skill that, believe it or not, did not come naturally to me, and I had to work on it a lot over the years. Every guy needs to master public speaking. I get it, it can be a big phobia for a lot of guys, it used to be one of mine. But you just can't get around having to deliver a public speech from time to time. Whether it's a presentation at work, a toast at your best friend's wedding, heck, you might even start a YouTube channel. You need to practice and develop good public speaking skills. I was someone who definitely struggled with public speaking as I was growing up. But I found the more I did it, the better I got at it, the more confident I became. Now this isn't a skill you're gonna have to do every day, but when you have to do it, it's very important. Try to develop public speaking skills. Next up is a skill that I believe people really underestimate. Every man by the age of 30 should work on developing his negotiating slash bartering skills. Being able to negotiate helps you get the best out of life, puts you in a better position. You're gonna have to learn how to negotiate to get that raise. And believe it or not, it helps build respect. Nobody likes a guy they can take advantage of. They'll take advantage of you, but they won't respect you. And when you have a great negotiation, it turns out to be a win-win situation. And you're gonna have to negotiate in professional and personal situations. Having good negotiating skills gets you better results and puts you in better position in life. Work on that bartering. Another important skill for the stylish guy is knowing how to dress for the occasion. Yes, there are times when you're overdressed or underdressed. Now, I'm the first guy who loves to wear a suit, but I'm not gonna wear a suit to a baseball game. But on the other hand, I'm not gonna wear a denim jacket to a formal event. You need to wear the right clothes for the right situation. You should always dress well 
but dress appropriately. It's always okay to be a little overdressed or a little underdressed, but you need to make sure you're walking that line well. Style allows you to stand out, but you don't want to stand out like a sore thumb. I'm always going to encourage guys to dress well, but you also need to dress appropriate. Next up is a skill I believe a guy should start working on in his late teens. It'll help you be more confident, not to mention help you. Learn how to lift weights properly. Resistance training to me is the most important training that guy can have physically, but it's also the easiest way to get injured. Having proper form prevents injury. Not to mention your resistance and weight training will be more effective if you have proper form. You want to develop and get the most out of the muscles you're actually trying to work. How do you recommend resistance training? Lift those weights, but do it properly. Now, one of my favorite skills that I've developed over the years is one that's communal, fun, and it gets to feed people. I believe every guy should learn how to man the grill. Grilling is one of my favorite pastimes because it combines being outside and eating at the same time. You can't beat that. Not to mention, it's just a great gathering for all your friends and family. I absolutely love grilling. Every guy needs to know how to grill those steaks, burgers, and hot dogs. And to me, grilling is the most masculine type of cooking a guy can do. It's communal, it's fun, it's relaxing. Learn how to man that grill. Now, shaving is a grooming task most of us fellas have to deal with on a daily basis. But do you realize most of you guys out there don't do it in the most inexpensive and least damaging way? You need to learn how to wet shave. Wet shaving is a beneficial skill in several ways. One, it's better for your skin because it only uses one blade. You get a closer shave and it's less expensive. You're not constantly throwing away disposable razors. And one of the problems I've had throughout life with shaving, it can be very damaging. Wet shaving is much more gentle on your skin. It allows you to get a better, comfortable, closer shave. You just can't beat it. You want the best shave possible with the least amount of investment? Start wet shaving. Next up is a skill, depending on how you look at it, Fortunately or unfortunately, I learned at an early age. That's because just like a lot of you guys out there, my first car wasn't a luxury vehicle. You need to learn how to jumpstart a car. Now, a lot of times the way you find out you need a new battery is when you wind up on the side of the road. That's how I learned to jumpstart a car. Fortunately for me, when my battery died, my boy was right behind me. He pulled up, showed me how to jumpstart a car. And it's a skill I've been utilizing in the decades ever since. It's not the most complicated skill, but it's very necessary. Very easy to do. It would only take you a few minutes to learn, but it's a skill I'm sure you'll use several times throughout your life. Learn how to jumpstart a car. Now, I don't expect you guys to be gourmet chefs, but every self-sustainable guy should be able to cook a few things. That's why an important skill I believe all of us should have you should have a signature dish. You need to have that go-to meal, something you can whip up for friends or family, or even more importantly, if you have a date come over. You need a meal that you're confident in, that's not difficult for you to prepare, and you're sure you can get it right almost every time. Personally, my signature dish, I can hook up a mean steak and potato. But trust me, when it's time to feed yourself or others, it's very important that you have your own personal signature dish. A few skills back, when I was talking about that you need to learn how to jumpstart a car, I illustrated it by using another skill every man should develop. You should learn how to tell a good story. A good story can do several things. It can illustrate a point, it can persuade, it convince, and it's a great way for you to connect with other people. Whether you're telling a bedtime story to your kids, striking up a conversation at a work event, or if you're on a date. Telling a story is a very important skill. Persuade, illustrate, and connect. Every guy needs to be able to tell a good story. Being able to tell a good story actually helps you with the next skill I believe you should master by the age of 30. Every guy needs to know how to make a logical argument. There are gonna be times in life you're gonna have to stand up for yourself, you're gonna have to make a point. But you don't wanna do it with emotion. You wanna use intellect. You need to be able to make your point while staying out of your feelings. Like we talked about in the storytelling skill, you're gonna have to be able to use a logical argument to convince and persuade. And as men, one of our strong points is our intellect. You have to be able to get that intellect across verbally. 
It can give you leverage and put you in better positions and get greater results in your life. Next up is a fun skill that I think is a quintessential American male skill. Make sure you know how to throw a ball, a baseball, and a football. Now, this may be unfair, but if you and I go out to have a catch and you can't throw, I'm gonna laugh at you. This is something I believe every guy should learn growing up, preferably at a younger age, but if you haven't learned by now, that's okay. Call up your most athletic friend this weekend and have him teach you both how to throw a spiral with a football and have a great catch with a baseball and gloves. Now that last skill was a fun skill. The next one is a skill that's very necessary to be able to help others. I believe every man should know how to render basic first aid. Now this is a skill hopefully you won't have to use too often, but you need to be able to do it. What should you know? CPR, the Heimlich Maneuver how to stop bleeding, and how to dress and treat a wound. Now, I'm not saying you need to be out there doing doctor-level health care. Leave that to the professionals, but at least know how to render basic first aid for your friends and family. Next up is a skill that I had to learn out of necessity based on where I was born and raised, that being Philly. I believe every guy needs to learn how to drive in bad weather. Now, you might not run into the occasional snow like I do living on the East Coast, but you're gonna run into some sleep or some rain from time to time, no matter where you live. You're gonna need to be able to handle your vehicle when these inclement weather conditions occur. You gotta learn how to not overcorrect your steering when the road is wet. You gotta learn not to panic and slam on your brakes. Of course, you're not gonna need it on your average sunny day, but there's gonna be times when every man needs to know how to drive in bad weather. The next skill I believe every guy should learn before the age of 30 is one to help you alleviate a very annoying problem. Every guy should learn how to fix a leaky faucet. There's nothing more annoying and wasteful than leaking faucets. It just gets on your nerves. And it's very expensive to hire a plumber to do this very simple job. On top of the fact that I think this is just a quintessential masculine skill. And it's a great simple way to look like a hero to your lady. You wanna save money and not be annoyed and look like a hero to your woman? Learn how to fix that leaky faucet. Next up is a skill that I have to admit I hate doing, but it's very necessary. Every man should know how to iron his clothes. I don't care how expensive, fly, dressy, or casual your clothing is. If it's wrinkled, it looks terrible, it looks sloppy. And in my opinion, it's just as important to know how to iron your casual clothes as it is to iron your dressy or formal clothes. Yes, it's a pain in the neck, no, I don't like doing it, but it's a very necessary skill. Don't look sloppy, learn how to iron. Next up is a skill that lines up with one of the two most important jobs I believe a man has, to provide and protect. You need to be able to protect yourself and your loved ones by learning how to shoot a gun. It's your constitutional right to bear arms, but you need to do it in a safe and responsible way. Nobody comes out of the womb knowing how to shoot properly. Get the proper training. And even after you have the training, keep your skills up. Go to the range. Man needs to be able to protect himself, his family, and his home. A skill you need to have, learn how to shoot. Speaking of defending yourselves, brings us to a skill that people of my generation learned at a very early age. I believe every man should know how to throw a punch. Now I'm about to sound like the old man back in the day guy. Yes, when I was coming up, you got into scraps. You better know how to throw a punch. And here's the thing, knowing how to throw a punch isn't just about delivering the best blow to your opponent. Throwing a punch incorrectly can easily hurt you. I learned that at an early age as well. I got into a fight, threw a punch incorrectly, broke my hand. There's gonna be times in life when you only can settle a dispute the old fashioned way, throwing those hands. But when those times occur, make sure you know how to properly throw a punch. Now, although all of the skills I talked about on today's video are ones I believe a guy should master by the age of 30, we all learn at our own pace. There's some skills on here I still need to work on, and I'm a little past 30. But I believe if you put some time and energy into learning the skills we talked about on today's list, you'll be a much more well-rounded guy. Now, make sure you do me a favor. Let me know in the comment section if there's skills you believe a guy should master by the age of 30 that I might have left out. 